In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was given to me by one of the people that was watching my YouTube videos. And um, this question was about level 1 and level 2 RAM, which I think what you're referring to is level 1 and level 2 cache. All right. Uh, in the old days, it was stored either on your motherboard or sometimes even on a daughter board. Yes, I, I said daughter board. Uh, in most of the modern computers today, it usually can be found on the CPU itself. And what you'll have is the CPU will directly connect to this level 1 cache, and then if it can't find what it's looking for, it'll go to the level 2 cache. What it does, it actually operates with the um, do loops, uh, that would be a do loop, okay, or a for next loop uh, in programming, and it would have the most recent information that it pulled off the RAM uh, in its memory, and so therefore the access time uh, between the CPU and this level 1 cache would be faster than it would be if it had to drive all that information from, from your regular RAM and bring it all the way back into your board, uh, into your CPU. Uh, because remember, uh, even though data buses these days are really, really fast, it's still quite a stretch from the CPU to the RAM. and the bigger the stretch, the longer it takes. Okay? Now, having said all that, um, you first have your level 1 cache, and the most recent of recent data is stored on that level 1 cache, and so the CPU goes back and forth to it. If the CPU can't find what it's looking for on the level 1 cache, it goes to the level 2 cache and tries to get information from it. This becomes very important because uh, computers today, they run Windows Vista. Some are going to be running Windows 7 soon, and I'm looking so forward to that. And uh, when you're running uh, browsers like uh, uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox, and you're running these operating systems, which take up a lot of, of uh, memory space uh, and CPU power, you're talking about the faster your uh, data access is, the better off you're going to be. And especially now that you have dual and quad-core processors, it really is important to have these level 1 and level 2 caches. So hopefully that answered your question, and I will talk about other computer terms in a future video. So stay tuned.